Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Starlord, I hope that you're having a fantastic day, and in today's video, we're actually going to be talking and recapping some of the new weapons and items that are coming to Season 4 in Fortnite Battle Royale. Now, I actually say coming to Season 4, but what I mean is, this video is kind of a speculation video, talking about five of the most popular things that are most likely going to be coming season four and why exactly I think that they will too. Uh, also, all of the things that you're gonna hear in this video are actually confirmed, they are in the in-game files. So at one point, that means that Epic have actually played around with these weapons or items and kind of use them in their own little private servers or test servers. So. Please remember that, guys, as we actually get into the video. Uh, but before we do get into the video, we're like kind of revealing the first item and everything like that. Please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite glitches, guides, videos, leaks, and even a couple of V Bucks giveaways when I can afford it. Uh, but anyway, like I said, let's get straight into today's video. Starting off with a weapon. Now, this weapon is actually being praised by me quite a lot because I definitely cannot wait until this assault rifle comes to the game it is actually on screen right now and it is called the g36c assault rifle this weapon is amazing and I know what some of you guys are thinking right now that's in save the world star lords well yes it is but if you go into the battle royale files you can actually find that it is in the battle royale files which means that epic have actually thought about adding this weapon into the game now what's really interesting about this weapon is that it has multiple fire modes and that is like Full auto and semi-automatic, I believe. And a lot of people have even said that this weapon could replace the semi-auto... The semi-auto? Yeah, is that right? The burst rifle. No, it's a burst rifle. That's it, yeah. This weapon could actually replace the burst rifle in Season 4. And that kind of makes sense, you know, because the, the burst rifle is a very loved weapon. But, you know, it's getting to the point now where uh, Fortnite or the dev team have actually replaced quite a couple of weapons. So they've replaced a shotgun, or they've added a new one in. They've also replaced the pistol and they've also replaced the submachine guns. The only thing that's really left is the sniper rifles and the assault rifles and I think that it is going to get to the point where they think, you know what, let's see if they enjoy a new weapon, a new assault rifle, let's throw it in for a month or two and see how they feel about that. So yeah, I genuinely think that the G36 will be shown sometime around season 4 depending on, you know, whether or not Epic actually feel like it's okay enough for the PvP kind of battles. Next up, we also have another weapon, which is actually a submachine gun, which is very, very praised by me again. I definitely cannot wait till this actual weapon gets into the game. And it is actually rumored that this weapon is going to be the next new weapon added to the game and this is actually from a guy who knows somebody at Epic and has heard a couple of things and uh, yeah to actually top it off with a cherry this dude actually confirmed a couple of different things that we never knew anything about in a couple of months ago so he kind of knows his stuff you know uh, but this weapon is actually on screen right now and it is the p90 submachine gun this uh, this machine gun is amazing to be honest the fire rate is absolutely insane and as of right now in the actual in-game files there are three different types of rarity for this weapon. One, I believe, is an uncommon, one is a rare, and one is a epic variant. And uh, yeah, I definitely can't wait to see what an epic a sub a submachine gun looks like, because yeah, that is something I definitely want to see, uh, to be honest. And this P90, to be honest, is actually something I just want to see in general anyway, because it actually has a faster firing type than all of the other SMGs, and I believe that actually would damage a little bit more too, so that would actually be pretty interesting to see how this gets used in build battles and everything like that too. And maybe, you know, it would actually counter a shotgun or two. I would hope so anyway, because currently right now in the game, there's not really any way to actually encounter or counter, sorry, a shotgun. As soon as you come up with someone with a shotgun, you're pretty much dead if you don't have one too. Now, moving away from the weapons for a minute or two, we're actually going to be talking about the next we the next item or next grenade that is coming to Fortnite Battle Royale, which has been rumored to be the Sticky Grenade. Now, this weapon really doesn't have much to talk about, to be honest. It's just like a normal grenade. It'll do an impact, but uh, basically, this one actually sticks to surfaces 
and to the bodies of people too. Which basically means is that if you see a guy who doesn't know what he's doing, you stick him with this sticky grenade and then he runs at his teammates asking for help, you will actually blow up him and his teammates too, along with this grenade. Now, it was actually leaked a long time ago that sticky grenades have been getting tested in Fortnite Battle Royale, but we never really heard nothing about them for ages. And then in the last patch update, it was actually shown that there are a couple of files related to the sticker grenades added into the in-game files which means that yes epic have actually moved up and they've kind of made progress on them so it's actually very very plausible that we will most likely see sticky grenades within the next i'd say three or four patches in this game so that's actually something to look out for i can just imagine that there'll be some amazing clips of like someone sticking some dude and then the other guy running into another person and then you getting two kills with one grenade i don't know i, I definitely cannot wait to see something like this because i remember that when i would look back on call of duty kind of clips and everything there would be some amazing clips where someone would throw a sticky grenade the, it would hit a guy the guy would then run into his teammate's room and blow up like three different people with him so uh, yeah, that's definitely something I, I really want to look forward to, especially with that new replay editor tool. That would be actually really, really cool. Now let's move on to another item that has been leaked a long time ago. It's actually confirmed a long time ago, and it is the jetpack. Now, unfortunately for us, <laughs> Epic Games actually had to kind of take back the jetpack because there was a big bug apparently with it, and they definitely couldn't release it. They were very like, you know, we're definitely not releasing the jetpack. There's something wrong with it, and we need to fix it. Uh, basically, what I think happened is that there was no bug. I think they basically saw what people were saying about the jetpack. And they were like, okay, listen, we need to take a couple of weeks about this and just kind of make changes to it to make it more appealing to the players of Fortnite Battle Royale. And uh, yeah, I believe that at the end of this month, on the day of the month that ends, uh, so on the 31st or the 30th, I can't remember, but basically the meteorite is meant to be hitting into the ground and it's actually going to bring up a new LTM, a new limited time mode. And uh, I think right after this limited time mode impact, we might see the jetpack being added, especially for the game mode. Uh, I believe it's called Take to the Skies. That's actually the game mode that is meant to be coming out in, in, in a little while. So yeah, that's actually something to look forward to. To. The jetpack, in my opinion, I'm not really that excited about, to be honest. But uh, I know that a lot of people was. A lot of people were very hyped about it. Unfortunately for me, I just don't think a jetpack will work in this game. But then again, I said that about the port of fort and the port of fort's pretty cool, in my opinion. I, I don't know. I like using it anyway. Especially, like, throwing it at some dude and just, like, being very confused about why he's in a big, huge fort. I don't know. I think it's pretty fun. Him. Other than that, we're going to switch it back to the last weapon of the video itself, and this is going to be the M24 machine gun. This is actually going to be on screen right now, and this will mark the first new weapon type that has been added into Fortnite Battle Royale. This could actually replace the minigun itself, because not a lot of people actually like the minigun, especially me, to be honest, and uh, I know for a fact that it's not as used as it used to be, and this weapon could actually replace that and actually add it so that people can walk around with these weapons and destroy forts, and not only that, but damage players in the meantime too. There's actually two Two heavy machine guns or I guess one light machine gun and one heavy machine gun coming to the game and uh, yeah they look very interesting to be honest and I would really like to see these replace the minigun itself because I feel like the damage would be better on the M24 uh, you know, and the range is actually good on them too. And plus, you might actually be able to aim down sights a little tiny bit better than what you would with the actual machine gun itself, or, you know, the minigun even. Uh, so yeah, that is definitely something to look forward to, because it would be basically adding in a whole new weapon type into the game itself. I mean, imagine having this weapon, you would probably run a little slower just because you've got it anyway. Uh, but anyway, guys, that has pretty much been it for all of the Fortnite 4, uh, Fortnite Season 4 weapon speculation videos that I have for today. I've actually got a couple of videos coming up like this in the future, so if you do not want to miss out on that, just kind of talking about what kind of skins are coming to the game, what kind of features, all that kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and uh, yeah, I actually do want to apologize if my, vi if my voice is kind of messed up and everything like that today. 
I've actually had no sleep at all really to be honest. I think I had like four hours sleep, three hours sleep. I am really, really tired. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get some sleep soon, uh, go out for some food probably with my girlfriend and uh, catch up on a little bit of rest. Uh, but other than that guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's video even though it was a little bit sketchy uh, with, You know with the whole uh, slurred voice and everything like that and tiredness But uh, you know, what are you gonna do guys? The grind is real uh, But anyway, thank you very much for watching today's video. Have an awesome day and until next time I've been Staldorg oh, See ya